Okay. Uh, my name is uh, Nelson Bitsomba. Okay, uh, this is uh, Shabir to Uganda e-learning. Uh, in today's video, shall be uh, looking at uh, collecting like terms uh, involving addition. So we shall be able to co to concentrate on how we can solve numbers uh, that has uh, different different <coughs> different numbers. For example, they tell you uh, add a goat uh, plus a hen plus a cow something of that kind uh, but in real time when you can uh, not add the term i mean a goat or, or a goat plus a cow they don't really make sense so uh, we shall be looking at how we can solve such a numbers uh, in our in our real life so in this video uh, we shall be able to look at uh, how do we deal with these numbers okay so here we are seeing uh, our our example here is uh, addition of letters for, for numbers. So we are going to get numbers, we add them, and we see how we can come up with uh, the solution of this. Okay, so here we shall be uh, uh, collecting the like terms, uh, those that are involving what? Uh, addition only. Okay, so we shall be able to look at uh, collecting like terms involving uh, uh, subtraction uh, separate, uh, but we shall first understand uh, one by one if it is addition uh, we first deal with addition uh, if it is subtraction we first deal with subtraction or if it is multiplication uh, then we also first deal with uh, multiplication so here we have been given some examples here they are saying uh, collect the like terms they are just telling us to collect the what uh, the like term now uh, here they give you uh, numbers of different kinds uh, like we can have an example here uh, we have been given k uh, we have been given m and we have also been given k so how do you collect uh, the like terms that they do want uh, have a look at and you see how we are going to solve out this uh, now uh, when they have given you uh, different different numbers and they want you to collect like terms uh, first step you can do is uh, to first isolate uh, those numbers that look alike uh, you identify them you identify the numbers that look alike and put them together or you add them together and then you isolate those numbers that do not uh, resemble resemble and then you also put them aside okay uh, like here uh, we can see uh, they were able to identify the numbers they are able to identify uh, these these numbers like we have uh, <coughs> we have k here i'm going to take those numbers that do alike uh, we have a k here and we also have a k here okay uh, then uh, we can see uh, there is a number which is uh, not resembling it is totally different from others okay <coughs> so here we should be able to identify those that resembles like we have uh, ticked those that resembles we have the 2k uh, we have a k itself and uh, then we also have what we have m then our next step is to ensure that we bring those uh, numbers that do resemble okay uh, so here we have a 2k so we shall start with our 2k here and uh, then we add uh, with this k of ours okay <coughs> then you can close bracket uh, when you close bracket that means you're isolating them from those that do not uh, resemble so uh, we are remaining now here with our uh, m or 5m and uh, then we add it on so uh, the addition of these numbers that do resemble we shall be having our 3k uh, then plus our 5k okay that is an example uh, so we also still have another example uh, that has been given uh, let's do it from here another example is 7y okay is it 7y it is 7x then 10y okay okay We are saying we we'll have our seven 
7x, then 10y, then 2x, then y. 7x, uh, this is going to be 7x, 10y. Okay, let me have, uh, let me rub this. Uh, let me rub this, let me erase it. Okay, so this is going to be 7 what? Uh, this is going to be 7x. Okay, I'm going to write my x like this. Uh, then uh, plus our 10y. Our 10y. Then plus, okay, this is going to be our 10y, okay? Uh, let me write y like that. Uh, then plus our uh, what? Let's see. A uh, plus 2x plus y. Okay. Plus 2x. Then plus y. Okay. So this is our number which has been given. So we shall need to collect like terms uh, for us to solve this number. Okay. So, <coughs> I said step one, we first identify those numbers that do resemble, uh, those numbers that do resemble, we have our 7x here, and we also have our 2x here. These numbers are resembling, we also have our uh, 10y here, and also a y. These numbers are also doing what? They are resembling. And now, step number two, we have to collect the like terms. Those numbers that do resemble, uh, we put them together. And those that resemble, we also put them together. Okay, so here we have uh, our 7, uh, 7x. Seven uh, then we shall be able to bring back, uh, to, to bring another one which resembles uh, plus our 2x. Okay. Uh, then now we have completed the x's and uh, then we go to the y's uh, then here we shall add our 10 our 10 y okay then plus uh, the remaining which is y so you can see we have arranged uh, the numbers that resembles uh, if these were gods all the goats together and the cows together so now you can you can perform an addition of this uh, where we have 7x plus 2x we shall be having our 9x okay here now we have our 9x then plus uh, 10y plus 1y we shall be having our 11y so for this number, you don't need to solve it more. Uh, you can stop it from here. Uh, this is what they wanted because they wanted you to collect uh, the like terms together and uh, the number will be done. Okay, let's also look at uh, 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 equations with, with equations with and without letters. <coughs> uh, this is when they give you a uh, an expression and in that expression uh, when uh, there is something which is missing okay something which is missing they are saying solving equation involving addition so uh, still here we are still looking at additions they give you numbers of this kind they say example eh? examples but eh? mm. there is dash plus 3 is equal to 9 how do you solve these numbers okay uh, now, for us to solve these numbers, uh, we have to also uh, look at the numbers which are given. Uh, let's practice them from here. Uh, we have a dash, uh, then plus uh, 3. Okay, plus 3 is equal to 9. So they want us to find which number is added to a 3. And uh, you get 9, okay? So for you to do this, uh, for you to do this um, in a simple way, uh, you can make this number, you can think of this number which is here to be any letter, okay? You can think of this number to be any letter. You may use your first name or you may use your, the letter of your last name 
uh, let us assume uh, uh, this guy is called Nelson. So I'm going to use our N as uh, the number which is here. I'm just assuming. Now uh, you make the operations uh, which is uh, our N uh, then plus 3. Uh, we are assuming our N is what? Is the number which is missing. Uh, then our 3 is equal to uh, is equal to 9. Okay, so uh, that means uh, we shall be having now this is an expression. Uh, they want us to find uh, the N. Okay, so what you do, you say our N, our N, you say our N plus uh, 3. <coughs> okay, our N plus 3, then minus 3. Uh, is equal to uh, 9 uh, then minus 3 okay 9 minus 3 now you look here we have been able to say our 3 here uh, n plus 3 we subtract by 3 to ensure that we eliminate our 3 from here okay so here when it is uh, uh, a plus sign we use a minus sign or when it is a positive we use a negative sign that's why that's why i was able to use a what a minus sign here or a negative sign i said uh, since here we have a plus i should say three minus three and when you say three minus three uh, this one uh, go for marriage and uh, then we remain with our n uh, being equal to nine 9 minus 3 okay so we shall be happy when you say 9 minus 3 we shall how, how many do we get how many do we get 9 minus 3 so our n will be equal to who has the answer I'm waiting for someone who has uh, the answer okay the answer could be good could be that one so uh, we have finally got our number which was missing and uh, this means uh, if we have our our six okay let me let me put a boundary here uh, that means if we had our Six, uh, then plus our uh, six plus three. Uh, we should be able to get our nine. Okay. So, Papa said this is how we can uh, solve uh, these numbers. Do you have any other question again? Okay. Let's see. Yeah. So here we are able to get our answers. What? Our answers six. So we also have another problem to solve here. They are saying uh, solve the equation uh, P uh, plus, plus 5. Okay, P plus 5. They want us to get an answer. We have our P uh, then plus, plus 5. P plus what? P plus 5. They want us to get an answer here. <coughs> Okay, so uh, when you look at this operation, here they were able to give us and we were able to look uh, out for the missing number. But here they want us to answer this. Okay, so when they tell you P plus 5, remember P, P is uh, totally different from 5. Uh, P is a figure. And uh, five is what is a number. So if they were got, uh, if this p is a got and uh, five is a hen, it is not easy to get what to get it. Uh, but here, what you do, uh, you say, uh, if they have not given you an answer here, you say p, uh, then plus a five, p plus five is equal to zero. Okay, you say p plus 5 is equal to 0 if they have not given you the what? Any answer here. 
we say p plus 5 is equal to 0. So when we say p plus 5 is equal to 0, then you can say our p, p, uh, you say p is equal to uh, 5, p is equal to 0, uh, minus 5. Here, it's like how I did it here. Uh, we said, uh, because we have a 3, we said 3 minus 3. <coughs> then they, they cast, they go for marriage, we remain with our N. So here it's what I've done. Uh, P plus 5 is equal to P. Uh, P Then P itself will be equal to uh, 0, which is this, minus a 5. So here our P will be equal to who has the answer. Okay. Our P will be equal to what is a 0 minus 5? So we shall be able to get our negative 5. So if we say, if we, if we, if our P, if our P is 5, and we add, I mean if our P is negative 5, this one that we have got, and we add 5, can we get a 0? P plus, um, I mean, yes, P plus 5, and our P is negative 5, then plus 5. Shall we be able to get a 0? Let's see. Okay. So this is a negative 5. And this is a positive 5. And this is like someone is demanding you what? Is demanding you 5 shillings. Let me assume. And, and uh, you have got your what? You have got your 5. So what you do, you just give him the 5 which they are demanding you. And you... Uh, <coughs> And you do what? And you pay out. So you will remain with a zero. Alright? So uh, this is how we can uh, prove the number. And this is how we can uh, get uh, the answer. Okay. So uh, for this, I do know someone has picked and has been able to understand. And will be able to solve uh, numbers of that kind. So for this, I do say thank you very much uh, for watching this channel. Uh, please watch out and uh, like and subscribe uh, for you to get more upcoming uh, videos or lessons for all the subjects. God bless you. Nice moment.